All right, welcome to the Rook Community Meeting for November 1st, 2022. I uh, will have a quick status update meeting. It's holidays in some parts of the world, so probably be quick. Okay, starting off with 1.9. Uh, so there are no, uh, no issues really to report on the 1.9 project board. Uh, the board's pretty empty at this point. We're just uh, in maintenance mode and backporting an occasional thing. There is a fix that a security fix that or two that we'd like to get into the 1.9 branch though. And so we'll plan on the release this week for 1.9 and 1.10 to get that out. Uh, I think the issue was only in the 1.10 board. I need to double check. Let's see. Um, and maybe I didn't even make it into this board. So I'll make it make sure it's in there, but the Oh, the log rotate sidecar, here it is. Here's one of them. The sidecar needs to run as the CEP user. And then a related one is that the crash collector sidecar uh, is also, also needs to run as the CEP user with the security contacts. CEP didn't have the run as flags for those uh, sidecars, those containers. So we need to add it explicitly. But yeah. Other than that issue though, I'd say everything else for one, the 1.10 release on uh, this week is just kind of the standard biweekly cadence. And so we'll plan on that. I don't know, any other comments on 1.9 or 10? Blaine, I think we're good. Not here. Yep. And for 1.11, no real change since our last meeting planned for mid-January. Starting to get a few things in the project board, uh, but it's still a little light. Uh, maybe on that topic, I'll skip down to the agenda here. The 1.11 roadmap. I did open a PR for that to get the feature list that, that we're planning on for that. So that's, um, I don't think all the issues that are in the roadmap even have made it to the 1.11 board. So still cleaning that up. But feedback is welcome on what features we want to get into that roadmap and I'll defer to the PR for those who want to see what's in there. All right, moving right along. KubeCon was last week and we don't have anyone in this meeting who was there today. So I think for next community meeting, let's follow up on that and discuss it. Curious to hear more what the feedback was, how the booth went and all that. I know Alexander was there. Um, Jared was there, but not sure. He was in the Rook booth. And see, so he hangs out with other friends these days. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. And just a note on last meeting, we talked about discovery, disaster recovery, the crew plugin for recovering uh, Moncorum. So that's merged and in the crew. 0.4 release. Happy to have that there. And then the last item I have in the agenda is that the just to discuss the Dependabot. So we merged the Dependabot a few days ago. And yeah, just my initial reaction is wow, look at all these small PRs that we're getting for every little update, for either for the Go dependencies and for the GitHub actions. Uh, I feel like the GitHub actions are really nice to have so we can make sure I have the latest versions of those. And they've been pretty smooth so far. I'm kind of wondering if though for the Golang, if we should turn it, turn off the auto updates for Golang because we get so many little updates with all our dependencies mm -hmm. that it feels like man, we might just stick with manually because then it, if we don't backport all these little PRs then it can cause merge conflicts if we try and backport other things. Right. Can we I don't know. adjust the regularity with which uh, Dependabot runs? Yes, it does have a setting. We set it on weekly, but we're still getting updates more than weekly. So huh. maybe we didn't set it quite right or something. Um, but I, there was a statement that it might have a setting for batching them all into a single commit too, or a mm -hmm. single PR at least. Oh. Um, 
But then Shabam and Madhu were discussing it in Slack, I think, or wherever it was, and they couldn't find it, or it didn't sound like it doesn't exist. So I think either we're going to have lots of little PRs, even if we reduce the frequency, or maybe just try and set a reminder to do it manually, like monthly or whatever. Yeah. We don't have to change that yet, but it's just kind of on my mind that all these little PRs may be a little too uh, fine grained. Yeah. Uh, yeah, especially with all the dependencies that get pulled in. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I haven't been backporting any of these little PRs. And so if we do choose to update the Go dependencies, in a release branch at this point, I think then we will do it manually and mm -hmm. uh, try and backport it. All those tiny PRs. So, yeah. But I feel like, yeah, nothing critical has come in through that. It's just kind of the standard updates for all the dependencies. I guess those are my thoughts on Dependabot. We'll keep an eye on it. Yep, and that brings me to this end of the short agenda for today. Anything on your mind, Blaine? Um, no. Just the two of us today, so. All right. I'm happy to call it a short meeting and we will call it a day. Well, it's the last day, but that's all I've got. All right. Sounds good.